This is Banjo, and today I'm going over the SPO-15 radar warning receiver found in the SU-25T, among other Russian aircraft. Examining the symbology of the radar warning receiver, we have threat types indicated along the row on the bottom, from left to right being airborne radar, long range, medium range, short range, early warning radar, then AWACS. Next, the bearing indicators for the primary and secondary threats are listed along the outside of the radar warning receiver, namely the eight bearing indicators along the top and the two for the left and right rear quarters. Primary threats are displayed in amber, with secondary threats being displayed as a smaller green bearing indicator. The two central indicators represent the relative elevation of the target painting your aircraft. As I dip my wings, we're able to see as the hemispheres adjust accordingly. Examining the threat indicator, we can see our primary is lit in amber, as well as having its type displayed, and our secondary simply has the type displayed below the amber light. In this case, our primary threat is off to our right, and it's an aircraft, and our secondary threat is a medium-range radar off to our 12 o'clock. The strip of lights just inside from the bearing indicators, which has been slowly increasing throughout the video, is the relative strength of the radar locking us. Looking over to our right, we can see we don't have eyes on the aircraft, but its strength is increasing, so we know for a fact its range is getting shorter. I've been slowly closing in on an SA-11 SAM site, and at about this point we're able to see as it suddenly becomes the primary threat type, now that the range is almost close enough for launch. As we're able to see, we have a medium range SAM site off to our 12 o'clock, with a relatively high signal strength. When the aircraft has become locked up by the radar that's been illuminating it, the central portion of the radar warning receiver, just outside of the hemisphere lights, will become solid red and a continuous tone will be emitted. If a radar-guided missile launch is detected, the lock launch light will flash along with a high-pitched audio tone. As I bank to put this missile abeam, we'll be able to see as I lose the radar shortly as it enters one of the blind spots of the radar warning receiver as it only has a plus or minus 30 degrees elevation. This is very important to take note of, as you may believe that the radar that's been painting you has lost a lock, when in all reality, it's just in one of your blind spots. The launch indicator will continue to flash and emit tone until the missile is finished guiding. Another function of the radar warning receiver is the ability to filter out any sources operating in acquisition mode, which will limit the radar warning receiver to only picking up lock and launch alerts. You can toggle this functionality by using the hotkey right shift plus R. And if you find that the audio warning is either too high or too low, you can adjust the volume by using right alt plus comma or right alt plus period.